Hi, I'm Mark, and this is my journey through tarot. Come on. Okay, today it's going to be Meghan Markle's dad, Thomas Markle Sr. Okay, let's find out a little about, about him from the beginning to, well, not the end, but close to the end. Okay, so I'm just going to show you what I was able to find out about uh, poor Duchess of Sussex's dad. So this is very interesting. So, Thomas Wayne Markle Sr. He was born July 18th, 1944, so that makes him a cancer. Now, he grew up in Newport, Pennsylvania, and he has two brothers, Frederick and Michael. He was raised as an Anglican Christian denomination. Okay, so now the Markle family name, which is M-A-R-K-L-E, was formerly spelled M-E-R-C-K-E-L. Interesting, and it claims 18th century origins from the Alsatian town of Lampertschlock, uh, Hanau Lichtenberg, now part part of uh, Bahrain, France, and I'll put those spellings up there. Currently, he's a retired lighting and photography director and lives in Rosarito, Mexico. Now, in 1963, he had a girlfriend, Roslyn Loveless was her name, at the University of Chicago. In 1964, 20-year-old Markle marries Roslyn Loveless, so that's his first wife. And in 1964, also, so his oldest daughter, Samantha, is born. So, had to get that done quick. In 1966, his son, Thomas Markle Jr., is born a couple years later. And then in the, in the 1970s, Thomas Sr. works as a lighting director at uh, WTTW TV, Channel 11, in Chicago. I lived in Chicago for a long time, but not uh, during those years. Much, much, much later. Now, in 1975, a 31-year-old uh, Thomas receives a, uh, an Emmy, a Chicago Midwest Emmy Award for Outstanding Achievement for Lighting Design on the Made in Chicago uh, program. And then also this year, he was one of 14 co-recipients of a Daytime Emmy Award for Outstanding Achievement in Design Excellence for work on uh, the General Hospital uh, TV soap opera. Uh, then, after 11 years, Markle and Loveless divorce. So 1979, four years later, he marries Doria Raglan at the Self-Realization Fellowship Temple of Paramhansa, Paramhansa Yoganandra. Paramhansa Yoganandra. Okay, what is all of this? So the Self-Realization Fellowship Temple is a movement uh, begun by this... Uh, Parama, Paramahansa Yogananda, and it's a uh, yoga-inspired, uh, feel-good, uh, new age kind of thing. Um, I'll put the picture up so you know, Google it. And then this fella, uh, Yogananda, Yog, Yogananda, as a matter of fact, Cash Peters just did a little uh, soul crossings on him, so you can find out a lot about him if you go back and watch Cash about this guy put the names up. Now in 1981, back to Thomas Markle. In 1981, Thomas is, now he got married in that crazy uh, spiritual, you know, kind of church uh, of this uh, uh, this uh, yogi uh, kind of guru guy. Now that was in 1979. In 1981, he's 37 years old and his third child, third child now, Rachel Megan, is born. So she's quite a bit younger than the other two, raised by a completely different mother and apparently somewhat estranged from the father. Now, 1982, he was again a co-recipient of a Daytime Emmy Award for the television soap opera General Hospital. 1986, he's nominated with others for Primetime Emmy Award for Outstanding Lighting Direction Design for what? For the 58th Academy Awards, but they didn't win. Now, in 1987 or 1988, after eight or nine years, Thomas and Doria Markle divorce. So, in 1990, he's 46 years old and he wins $750,000 in the California State Lottery, and he spent all the money. And in 2011, he again shared a daytime Emmy for outstanding achievement in lighting direction for work on where? General Hospital. Uh, 2016, he's 72 years old. He files for bankruptcy over a debt of $30,000. And then 2018, he's recovering from heart surgery. And 2018, he's revealed that uh, he staged photographs 
for a paparazzi photographer for money. That was all around the Meghan and Harry thing. Now his uh, elder daughter Samantha claimed that it was her idea and the motivation was not financial but to show the world he's getting in shape and doing healthy things. The world doesn't care about him. They don't know him. So, I don't know. He admitted initially lying to Harry about the staged photos and regretted it. And in another interview with the Mail on Sunday, so I guess that's a British paper, he said um, Meghan would, have not, would be nothing without him. He made her the Duchess she is today. Some might agree with that. Uh, 2019, he published a letter from Meghan where she states uh, he had broken her heart into a million pieces. And he described the letter as an, a dagger to the heart. Uh, 2020, he's 76 years old, and it's revealed that the mail on Sunday, again, could possibly use evidence provided by him against his own daughter, Megan, in an ongoing legal battle between the paper, paper and the Duchess. And then the Daily Mail also named him, Thomas Markle Sr., as a potential witness to testify against his daughter, Megan. The same month, he said Megan is tossing away every young girl's dream of becoming a princess. So that's what I know, sadly. Uh, about uh, Thomas uh, Markle. So let's see what um, the cards have to say. I don't know what to ask. So this is the Aquarian Tarot by David Palladini. This is published by US Game Systems. And I really love these cards and they've got an interesting story behind them too. And there's a follow-up deck um, that I sometimes use uh, together with these. But uh, so they come in a, a typical uh, just a little cardboard card box. It's fine. Um, the artist is David Palladini, who was born in Italy, but raised in the United States in Highland Park, Illinois. So that's a little bit interesting once you get to know the cards. And uh, the instruction book that comes with them is just a run-of-the-mill, uh, this card means this and that card means that kind of thing. Really nothing all very meaningful in here, and it's kind of printed really small. So there's all of that. The interesting thing about these cards is uh, what happened, David Palladini was just finishing up... Um, art school when I forget who it was someone approached him about doing uh, tarot cards um, and now David Palladini just recently died this is 2021 in May and he may have died three years ago or in that in that time span so uh, 17 2017 or something and then so then these were done at the beginning of his career which would have been put him in his uh, 20s or late 20s I would imagine so you can see that these are very nice cards, very soft spirit, and very to the point. Uh, they're not hard to uh, interpret. <clears throat> and I lay these out like this so that you can get an idea of what a full deck looks like if you're not a person who buys a lot of cards or, or sees a lot of tarot cards. I do because I just like to collect them. I think they're, they're little pieces of art. <clears throat> but uh, this fellow uh, did these right out of art school. And then he could never have imagined they would come such an integral, become such an integral part of tarot. And then later in his life, he went ahead and um, and did an updated uh, deck. But these are the Aquarian Tarot by David Palladini, and uh, they're really great. I love them. So let's see what the cards have for Thomas Markle. I mean, my goodness. I mean, he's had a very successful life, and um, you know, lots of awards as a group, mostly. Uh, for a very interesting long I mean, general hospital all those years and he started out right away getting awards in Chicago I mean, it's a regional award, but still um, So, you know what happened what happened so many times people aren't um, prepared for 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 being even a little successful, you know, and um, who knows what happened so and It must have been interesting to grow up uh, him Thomas Markle uh, being around uh, notable people on the other side of the camera uh, all the time. So so we don't know really what kind of a life he led, if he was a carouser or, you know, if he was uh, cruel to his children or his wives, especially after he uh, divorced the first wife and those kids. So, you know, we just don't know. So Thomas Markle, Thomas Markle, Thomas Markle. I'm going to ask this. I'm going to ask, because I think all this has to do with jealousy at this point. You know, he had that life, and he was pretty famous. You know, if I knew somebody and, uh, who, who had achieved the things he had achieved, I would be, you know, pretty interested in their life. But, uh, so he had achieved all of that, but it still wasn't enough. He files for bankruptcy. He even wins the lottery, 753 quarters of a million dollars. And uh, and now he's living in Rosarito, Mexico. Why? I'm sure because it's cheap to live there, and he can get by on his Social Security somehow. What else could it be? 
So let's ask Thomas Markle. Is he just trying to make money? It has to be jealousy. Is he jealous of his daughter's success instead of being proud of her? Is he jealous of his daughter's success? And I might break that down even more uh, after we get the first six cards. But right now we'll leave it at that. Is, is Markle uh, jealous of his daughter's success and is he therefore sabotaging uh, her career? I don't think he's sabotaging her career for the sake of sabotaging her career. I think he's trying to get a little piece of limelight. So is he jealous of his daughter's success? I mean, she became a, a TV star and then had to go and become a princess. Okay, so six cards. One, two, three, four, five, six. Does that happen? Even, in, even with modest success, as parents become uh, jealous of their children. So, Thomas Markle, is he jealous of his daughter's success? The signifier card uh, is then the King of Cups, and you know, cups are emotion, so this is a great big cup of emotion. This king looks a little hurt, actually. So I would say this puts him in a very vulnerable, sensitive situation. He considered himself to be the king and uh, very vulnerable. The, um, the challenge to this, then, is the King of Swords. And, um, yeah, the challenge of that is wanting to be the powerful king and instead being the vulnerable king. So I would say this is leaning towards jealousy to me. The base of this reading, then, is a six of cups. Ah, wanting things the way they were. When he was the hot shot, when he was the guy working with famous people, when he was the one getting uh, recognition. Uh, in the past of this reading, then, is a two of rods, so short-term planning. And uh, so I would have to say that there was some... Uh, idea that could have been a plan that hey I can grab a little bit of the stardust in the sky of this reading is the nine of swords sleepless nights and that's the best he can hope for right now because he's just made a mess of everything so in the um, future of this reading then is a page of pentacles and the page of pentacles is kind of someone coming to you with a little value and I'm, I'm really taking this two different ways it could be someone coming with some some I'm sorry you know that kind of that or someone coming to try to get another little piece of the cash. So let's see what the final four cards would be. Is um, is is this all about? Is this really for him? Just about getting some cash in four cards. Is this about getting some money? Okay, four cards. The signifier of that, the self of that, Queen of Cups. So it's interesting. Maybe it's more about about his emotions, about about his his uh, psychological self. The environment that the Queen of Cups is in is uh, the Ace of Pentacles. So an Ace of Pentacles, you know, the Ace is a great big offer of value. So the Queen of Cups in the environment of a great big huh, offer of value. I wonder if, if, this, if this is just too irresistible when you're wanting something so much. And, and it looks easy to obtain. Uh, you know, sell a story, talk about this or that. Um, the um, hopes and the fears of this for Thomas Markle. Uh, the Three of Cups. Let's say the hopes then are, are you know, a joint celebration. Uh, I'm just going to look at this from a, a, a positive point of view. Say the hopes of this is some sort of reconciliation. And the likely outcome, however, of all of this for Thomas Markle is the Nine of Rods. And it's a heavy load. You know, it's, it's being embattled. The likely outcome is that this is going to stay, I think, until his end, um, the uncomfortable uh, embattlement that it is. I don't know that he has it in him to make it better than that, and certainly not publicly. Well, it seems like jealousy uh, got the better part of poor Thomas uh, Markle Sr. And uh, so, but tomorrow we're going to be looking at uh, the older sister, Samantha. So let's see what happens there. I'm Mark, my journey through tarot. Tomorrow's another day. Stop by. We'll do it again. Ciao for now.